What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. Uh, we are preparing for a hurricane right now. Um, it is definitely, we're definitely going to get a large, oh, there you go. There's a hurricane, another hurricane warning. My goodness, we get it. Uh, okay. We get it. Uh, it's... Seek shelter now. <laughs> Seek shelter. <laughs> it's Saturday morning. We're not. We're not scheduled to get the hurricane um, until Sunday, late, late, late Sunday, and uh, early Monday. We're gonna have like 12 hours of steady, consistent um, high winds. That's that's probably gonna be the worst part about it. Is just how long. Uh, this storm's gonna last because it's so huge. It's tracked way west now. Um, they're looking at um, the west coast of Florida actually just getting just getting demolished. Um, we're going to get the strong side of the storm. You know, of, of either side, we'd prefer the west side of the storm. We're gonna get the east side of the storm. Um, but it's such a massive storm. It's it's 500 miles. Uh, wide that we're gonna get you know, it's gonna be here for a long time. It's gonna sit on top of us It's only moving at like 16 miles an hour. Oh, no, it's down to 12 down to 12 and it's gonna get slower You know the, the longer it spends time on land right now. It's on Cuba. So we're getting ready for that Preparing for that we got stuff secured. Uh, we're right now. We're headed over to Priscilla's parents house uh, They have the sails that you saw us put up just recently those have to come back down and uh, Then we all they also bought a generator. We've got to get that set up for them uh, Just kind of help them out a little bit and make sure that they're squared away. They were going to evacuate and they decided not to oh, Okay, okay <laughs> Okay, thank you. I, you know, I, I'm appreciative of the emergency alerts, but it's like, oh, there's a hurricane coming? Real quick, I wanted to address something. Um, you know, reading through the comments from the last two videos, I, I wanted to make it a point so that you guys were in, in our minds, in our heads. Um, we're not, we don't feel the need to defend ourselves, right? Like that's not our intention is to defend no. our actions or or you know the way that we're raising our kids. That you know the last two little speeches that we had, little rants, the little conversations that we had with you guys, uh, those were not in defense of ourselves. But it does it it's necessary to explain things to you guys because you don't live our lives and you know you're you're kind of getting an outside view and you're getting 15 to 20 minutes of a 24 hour period or longer even uh, when we vlog. So I, I do feel the need to explain things to you because I want you to understand, I really do. And and then we get comments and not all the comments are negative and I don't want you to think that we think they're negative. A lot of them are valid questions like you know why do you do this? Well, I want to tell you why we do that because it's, it you know, some things need explanation because it's something that that we have been adjusting to and and doing for 12 years, and we've only been on YouTube for a year. So um, that way you can better understand. You know, we have new new subscribers that are just now uh, trying to catch up on videos, and there's a lot that that goes on in one of our you know in, in just one day for us. So this helps us to better explain it. You know, when we have those little those little powwows, those little sit-downs with you guys. But that's all, that's all I wanted to say. You know, no no, uh, no rant today. I just wanted to uh, be clear on exactly, you know, we're not, we don't feel like, we don't feel attacked in the comments, right? No. I mean, it's like 99.9% .9 of the comments are, are awesome and supportive. The rest of them are either trolls or people that just don't get it. Uh, but we want people to get it, so that's what we do. Cool, we cool? Understand, make sense? Cool. We have to stop by the shop. Uh, which is probably a mistake. We got all the generators out yesterday, but we have to stop by and do a couple things, grab a few things from there, and we're probably gonna get customers while we're there. Um, just because, you know, people are panicking. A lot of people didn't prepare ahead of time with their generators, chainsaws, things like that. Um, so we're probably gonna get some customers. It, we call the shop the black hole, because like if you stop in for a minute, like you're there for a little while. This weather that we're getting right now, this is not hurricane related. All this, this is uh, this is nor'easter. We're getting a nor'easter right before the hurricane comes, which sucks because that's a that's gonna rain. I mean, we're getting how much rain are we supposed to get from this? I don't know. It's like four or five inches of rain from the nor'easter. In fact, I'm not a huge fan of heights, 
Like everything I do at my in-laws has to do with ladders. <laughs> Yay. Can't go to sleep. I just keep watching the news, keep watching this hurricane track. It's uh it's getting pretty serious, looks like. Just went up to category four again. It was at a category three. I gotta get some sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning and we'll pick up where we left off. Morning! Picking up where we left off. Uh, everybody's up, we're waiting on the hurricane to get here. Just kinda hanging out. We got still have this nor'easter going on, so we got crumbing weather. I made breakfast for everybody. And the other side is she didn't want breakfast. She or the breakfast I made, she decided cereal was more her jam. Ooh, Abby, orange juice and milk. That's good. We're gonna clean up from breakfast and uh, get doing some stuff. We got. We, we're gonna go ahead and bring the generator around to the back and get ready to set that up because um, it's pretty much guaranteed we're gonna lose power according to the news, according to what they're reporting. So we're gonna go ahead and get everything prepped so we're not doing that in the middle of a hurricane. We got some stuff to get together and uh, we'll kind of show you guys how we prep for prep for the hurricane. That is why we secured our trampoline. I mean this isn't even like hurricane force winds this is just regular Florida storm and that thing's upside down. That That's gonna end up in someone else's back back window by the end of this hurricane. We are headed uh, to the shop real quick. Had to kind of take a break from hanging out at the house of the kids. There's been reports of looters in uh, in our side of town. And we don't even have a hurricane yet. This is just this is just a nor'easter. It's just yeah. a storm. And uh, you know, knowing that businesses are closed and people are kind of uh, hunkered down in their houses, uh, people are out being jerks and looting businesses and homes where people have, have left. So we're gonna ride by the shop and uh, it's not dangerous or anything, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't put ourselves in danger for for the purpose of protecting a bunch of equipment or our business or our kids in danger by leaving them at home um, you know there's no hurricane yet it's just rain and a little bit of wind so we are going by the shop just to check on it I lost camera feed uh, from our security cameras which could be could be just a power outage but you know we need to go by and make sure that everything's kosher because um, first responders uh, the police are very busy right now, so that you know. The good thing is, we're right across the street from a shelter. Right. So, there's so a lot I know of there's a lot there. of activity going on, um, but I just want to make sure. You know, it makes me feel more at ease, I guess. So they better not mess with A and P equipment. We'll get them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I might know some karate moves. Oh, you might. It's <laughs> like a untapped skill that you haven't told anybody about. Yep. My fear of heights Adrenal and your karate moves. Adrenaline makes things crazy. <laughs> hey, we're back home. No emergencies at the shop, so it's good. We didn't have to leave for very long. Uh, just a power outage, that's why we don't have cameras. We do have a battery backup on our security system, which kind of makes me feel better. I would like to see what's going on there, but that's okay. I'll take it, I'll take the battery backup. We call customer service to find out how long the backup batteries would last, and they said anywhere from eight to 24 hours <laughs> so kind of a range of uncertainty there um, I'll probably venture up there and put new batteries in it at some point just to make sure that the security system is working it's not you know so much people bringing into our business it's that we have a lot of other people's stuff there you know we have motorcycles and ATVs and things that belong to other people that's the biggest part of it you know they stole the $14 I left in the cash register we will be okay but it's the it's other people's equipment I don't want messed with we're finishing up our hurricane prep you know just right before the storm gets here we're gonna go ahead and move the generator to the back patio we we're gonna leave it in the garage but uh, it's getting mucky back here, and I, I just, you know, we don't want to do it when it's real nasty. So we're going to go ahead and move it back here and uh, get that set up and ready so that when we do lose power, we can kick that on. Uh, Priscilla's making lunch, doing a little, little hurricane food. What are we doing? Sandwiches? Sandwiches and chips. Sandwiches and chips. 
Sounds good. That is not on our diet, but according to Facebook, nobody sticks to their diets during hurricanes. You have your hurricane food, right? I mean, that's, that's what I got from it. Okay, that's what we're doing. What else do we gotta do? We're watching my Jaguars. We still have uh, still have cable. You know, we still have, have satellite feed coming in, so we're getting to watch some Sunday football. That's awesome. Abigail's hanging out. She's kind of been doing this, like, rocking um, noise-making thing for the past couple of days. I think she might be a little bit stressed because of the weather change. You know, there's kind of an air of stress going on. Is that air? An air of there's stress in the air. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, people a little, we're all a little bit antsy, and I think that she might be feeling that, sensing that a bit, and then of course understanding uh, to some extent what's going on. So uh, she's kind of playing off of that. We gave her a little bit of Motrin. Um, because weather changes do affect her a bit, so we give her some Motrin just in case she has a headache or something. She can't tell us, but lots of, lots of sitting on the couch and rocking and making noise. How you feeling today? You doing good? Are you doing good? Are you ready for the hurricane? Do you want to see yourself? See yourself? Mm. You good? You ready? We're gonna be, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna play some games, do some sensory stuff. What do you think? Is that cool? We'll be done setting up in just a second, okay? All right. Good girl. I like seeing her smile when she seems to be a little stressed out. It makes me feel better. As far as water is concerned, we have a ton of water. We've got cases of water, and then also like I'm gonna fill this up, uh, you know, for cooking needs, just in just in case the water coming out of the spigot is not usable. Um, so that we do have plenty of water. Last year we filled out the bathtub to have water for like flushing the toilets, things like that. Um, I might do that too, because that, that's kind of a it's kind of a nice thing to have is flushable toilets. So aside from food, you know, we're not we have non-perishables, but then we also have perishables because we have a generator, so I'm not super concerned about that. But we are prepared in case the generator does go out. And uh, you know, we've washed all of our clothes, there's no dirty clothes. Um, because we're not gonna be using the dryer that does, you know, that, that the dryer plug is not powered off of the generator. The rest of the house is, ex um, everything except for the dryer and the air conditioning units. Um, we've got some box fans so that we can move some air around and keep comfortable, uh, especially while we sleep. You know, there's nothing worse than sleeping when, when it's hot. All of my flashlights that I have um, are either rechargeable, like this one. Uh, this one doubles as like a work lamp or they take AAA batteries. I get flashlights that take the same batteries, that way I only have to buy one kind of battery. Even those walkie-talkies that we got are AAA batteries. I like buying one sort of battery. I don't have to, you know, look for multiple kinds of batteries. Did you get the generator moved? I did. Good. All right, let's check it out. We got our cords for our generator uh, on standby. They're, they're at the ready. And um, that's, a, that's a Harley Davidson muffler. There's, there's really no logical reason to have a Harley Davidson muffler on a generator, except for the fact that it's cool. I own a motorcycle and small engine repair shop. I mean, you know, the kind of generator with a motorcycle muffler. How, how else are you gonna do it? Why are you so extra? No, nobody says extra anymore. What? You say it all the time. No, I, apparently you're not up with the times. Okay, now we do have a major tornado issue. Like if, you know, especially with hurricanes, tornadoes come too. Uh, this is our tornado room. It is the uh, shoe closet and it's just a, just, it's underneath the stairwell. It's pretty secure. We bring some pillows and blankets in there and we camp out if there's a threat of a tornado and everybody will stay safe. You know, the, the biggest thing for a tornado shelter is walls within walls, and that's under a staircase. So no windows, it's the best place for us. We're so, in a tornado watch now until midnight. So we may go into a warning after that. Yeah. That's probably the scariest part of the hurricane is the potential for a tornado. Yeah. Okay, the autism side of hurricane prep, storm prep, that kind of thing, is really just keeping her um, occupied, keeping activities on hand for her to do, sensory related things. Um, what happens when we get busy doing other things is this. She just, uh, she gets a little anxious and she rocks and makes noises. So we wanna keep her as comfortable as possible. So we're gonna find some stuff for her to do. I think we'll take her on a little, uh, a little adventure outside, even though it's a little bit windy and raining, we'll go on a little golf cart ride, um, let her 
Let her just get out of the house for a second because she's been in the house for a couple days already. Um, other ways to prepare Abigail, not putting a lot of demands on her. We just kind of let her do her thing. Let her, you know, she wants a snack, we, she gets a snack. We just don't, we don't make it too stressful for her because she's already has the stress of the unknown that everybody else is dealing with, but she doesn't have the coping mechanisms that, that we do. Snacks, of course, you know, that having the things that she likes and she enjoys. Uh, we have that in the house, you know, we don't really worry about um, diet or rules right now, just like with our, with our diet, you know, we're just kind of trying to make everybody comfortable and happy. Just like with anybody that takes medication, you know, planning ahead, making sure that her medication was all filled, her prescriptions are filled, uh, you know, before any potential storm comes. Devices, making sure that her devices are charged up and we have backup battery chargers. Um, I've got a couple of them that are uh, 10,000 milliamp hour or better. Uh, bat backup battery chargers so we can charge a couple of devices at a time and so she has her music and she has her iPad uh, you know in case we do lose power and then something happens to the generator that kind of thing I'm kind of talking fast to get through this because I do have some stuff that I that I need to do and and I want to get done with it so that we can uh, do some kind of activity occupy Abigail so you know she's not just rocking on the couch and stimming. So I'm gonna close out this vlog for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you for all the comments about you know us staying safe. We definitely will. We appreciate you guys thinking about us and having us in your prayers and all that. Uh, we're just waiting now. We're just waiting for the hurricane to come. So, But if you're in Florida as well, if you're in Georgia, um, even South Carolina, you know, big weather coming, please be safe. Uh, we definitely want to hear from you if, if you are affected by the hurricane, you know, just let us know that everything's good and that you're safe and uh, we will see you next time. Bye. One more thing, we're going to be doing a collaboration video uh, with another YouTube family, another special needs family called The Killing Clan. If you're not already uh, familiar with them, great channel, daily vloggers. I'll leave a link for them right down below. But we're going to do a collab video with them, and we couldn't figure out what to collab about. So I'm asking you guys for some great ideas for uh, you know what we should collaborate uh, with The Killing Clan on. You know, anything. Just let me know in the comments uh, if you have an idea. We're doing it's just a little windy. <laughs>